All right. Welcome, everybody, to game 12 of Backyard Baseball Season 4. Last game was super tense. We just barely scraped out a win at the very last second, but we are still undefeated. 11 wins, zero losses, and there's just three more games until the playoffs. So at the very least, let's keep up the win streak, hopefully for the rest of the season. But even if we keep it up until the playoffs, that would be very, very nice. <laughs> All right, so it looks like today we are facing off against the Melon Heads at an away game. All right, another custom Humongous Entertainment uh, team. This will be interesting. No idea who's going to be on this team because I don't pay attention to the teams when I look at the league leaders. <laughs> so this is going to be a complete surprise, and so is the stage. So let's head to the roster and hope for a good level. And it is Dirt Yards again. Not the best, but not the worst. We can work with this. So, no! Didn't Pablo have mega decreases at Dirt Yards last time as well? Or am I? Or is that a different field? This is, oh, and this is really bad, because he also has lower, lower speed, too. Oh, that stinks. Well, Pablo, you're immediately getting moved to the back of the lineup. Jeez. Kenny's feeling fine. Charlie Brown's back to normal. Pete's good. Angela's good. Kimmy's back to normal. Reese has a batting decrease. Oh, no. Anyway, Marky's fine, and Angela's fine. Great, so we literally only have decreases today. That's just fine. Great. Sorry, the Donald Duck in me just came out. <laughs> well, we're going to have to work with these decreases, I suppose. Oh, you had decreases too, Vince? Yikes. <laughs> and hey, golfer dude, Hel welcome to the stream. Yeah, this is going to be a... This is going to be a tough game, for sure. Low speed all around, and... I mean, honestly, Reese's decreases aren't going to make that much of a difference, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, Pete's still going to start us out. Maybe we move... No, let's keep Kenny there. And Angela. Maybe move Marky up there. Yeah, I think that that's... We're gonna have to do it like that, I suppose. This is not good, though. There's gonna be some double play opportunities for them, and scoring points today is gonna be tough. Because we don't... The, our only power hitter is Angela. I don't care what anyone says. Kimmy is not a power hitter. I guess Pete as well. Pete can hit it decently hard, but... Hang on. Pete's an 8 at batting, and Annie is a 9. <laughs> In what universe is that true? Well, let's see what their team is up to. They got Ronnie Dobbs. He can be scary at times. But... Oh, he's also got a cannon too, so we gotta watch out for that. Gary Allen. He's good at batting and nothing else. Uh, Leah... Nick what? How do you even pronounce that? Lena N is just mediocre. Uh, Xenon Estrada is stacked. Gotta watch out for him. Catherine Asher, she's the pitcher, and that's about it. Horseon has minus two decreases, but he's still decent. Uh, Mamie Skiumsby? What the? Mamie Skiumsby. What? Um, okay. There are some... I don't want to be rude, but there are some weird named kids on this team. And she's pretty decent. Sophie Meyer is stacked at batting, and so is Joe and May. Great. So they've got a whole bunch of power hitters today, and I have nobody. This is going to be a tough one to win. We're, we only really have one choice here, folks. We're going to have to really bait out and exploit the double plays in order to get special bats. I don't see us winning any other way, unless Angela just absolutely carries the team on her back. But I really don't anticipate a whole lot of uh, scoring happening today, so at least not from our end. All right, just as a reminder, so Joan, Sophie, and Xenon, we really got to worry about for batting. And Gary and Ronnie can also be terrors. Yikes. All right, well, just, we just got to start the match. Let's get the party started. It's time to get down with your favorite baseball players. Hello, baseball fans. Sunny Day here, along with my good friend, Vinny the Gooch. Thanks, Sonny. 
It's good to be here for another exciting game of baseball. I can't get enough of it. This will be a great matchup of my two favorite teams. The, uh, what's their faces and the, uh, other guys. A little luck, a lot of skill, and a bunch of great attitudes have seen these kids through an outstanding season. You can bet they have hopes of landing in the playoffs, and my guess is they will. So, what are we waiting for? Let's play ball! Let's hear it for the best team in the BBL, the Bombers! I have never heard that line from Vinny before. <laughs> and I have played this game a lot, so that, that was funny. Crazy Bombers versus the Green Melon Heads. Well, I gotta say, their team looks pretty sick. Both in terms of like how good their players are and in terms of their team outfit. It looks pretty nice. And yes, their team is the Melon Heads, and Ronnie Dobbs has a Melon Head himself. Yes, he's probably the team captain. Okay, Pabo sucks today. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Without Pablo, we're really going to have to do our best and pull out all the stops in order to get some points. Yikes. Well, I'm not scared. Let's play ball. Okay, let's play ball. On the mound today is Catherine Asher. She's looking to show these batters a thing or two. Here comes first up the bat. All right. I think the first thing we need to figure out how good is their catcher? If their catcher is really bad, that's what we're going to have to I'm exploit. Alright, so on this level, we're going to hit grounder. Because it won't really bounce much. There we go. Let's see how good their catcher is. Okay! I'm not sure if that was a he threw it pretty much as hard as he could, or because I had already made it, he didn't need to throw it as hard. But if that's how far he, if that's how hard he can throw, this won't be too bad. Okay, and Reese Worthington has got a batting decrease, so we will be bunting with him today. I mean, he's only a free at batting normally, but he's a one today. Pete's really got a carry, so we're not even going to swing at the first one. We're not even going to swing. Oh yes, their catcher sucks. Okay, that's going to be it. Their catcher stinks. That's how we're going to... That's how we're going to score. We got we to gotta exploit their terrible catcher. There we go. Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. All right, now we got Kenny. He's not normally at this lineup. He's also going to bunt. And we're going to have both characters steal. Yes! Bases loaded for Angela Del Vecchio. All right, yes. If Angela gets a Grand Slam here, then I will not be worried. <laughs> This is some good baseball at uh, this point. Maybe I, maybe I should bunt more often. You guys in the outfield better move back. Uh, yeah, you better move back. It's Angela, and she's she's got the power. Shoot, if I had swung just a tiny bit earlier, that might have been out of the park. That was a heat outside. <laughs> From the wind up, oh! <laughs> Yep, that's that's a couple points because their fielder is literally not doing anything. Let's see how good of an arm he has. Yikes! Okay, he's got a pretty good arm. Oh my gosh, Angela! What on earth? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> this is not going to be a hard game. <laughs> wow. Jo Joanne in right field just sat there, just like, I'm not doing, I'm not lifting a finger. Wow. Okay, Angela hit a double. Angela is MVP 100%. <laughs> that was dumb. That was dumb. It's one way too early. By the way, hi, Janae. Welcome, welcome. Forgot to say hi. Glad you're here. Okay. Pop up for Annie. Oh, okay. They suck. They suck at defense. 
defense! What is this? This is literally the worst defense I've ever seen. This this is literally the worst defense I've ever seen in backyard baseball. We're hitting power of Marky. <laughs> All right, Marky, it's the dirt yard. You you you're used to the dirt. You can do this. <laughs> or it could be a triple play. Come on, Marky. You got the black pants today. You're doing well. <laughs> Come on. We we just gotta get it into the outfield. They can't catch nothing. They can't catch nothing. Mark, you gotta make contact, son. <laughs> you got to. Okay, Mark, that was maybe not the best hit. Okay, that's fine, Marky. You sacrifice yourself, you're out, but everybody else advanced. That's actually great. <laughs> Charlie Brown, here he comes. <laughs> I can't believe we're this far in the batting lineup on the first inning. All right, put Charlie Brown. We're gonna line drive it. That was so dumb. Why did I swing at that? Oh, it's because we're Charlie Brown. That's that's why. All right, Charlie Brown, you got this. You got this. Don't hit it backwards. No. <laughs> I remember when we used to have defense. If you randomly pick your units, then that's going to be tough. That was just fantastic, Charlie Brown. It's too easy. Okay, their third baseman is not firing on all cylinders, if, if you get what I'm saying. He keeps just being like, uh... Either that or their catcher just can't throw straight. Are we going to go for our whole batting lineup in the first inning? Don't think that was a strike. I think their team is what happens when you put all of your points into offense and nothing into defense. Dane! If only that was hit straight. That crack was the sound of a sweet spot. <laughs> if if we go back to Pete, they'll actually say first up to bat is Pete. That's great. Alright. That's an infield fly. Well, we made it for our whole batting lineup, To regardless. That's now, unfortunately. We got Pablo, who's minus six or seven in batting today. We're going to hit line drive. Maybe he can get it to the outfield still. Alright, Pablo. I know you're feeling under the weather massively. But you can still hit a line drive, right? That's... Okay. Well, that's an out for sure. Unless they're unbelievably freaking stupid. Nope. That's fine. We went for our whole lineup. We got three points. That was a great first inning. That was really good. Oh, wow. Angela's not even... I thought Angela was going to be kind of tired because I made her run so much. But no. All right, Horace Horse Collar up first. Marky, he hasn't even swung the bat one time yet. <laughs> He's just frozen with fright at our team. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did ya? <laughs> and Horace has some decreases today. Let's throw him the heat. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he can't do nothing! Get out! I would love to bolster Angela's strikeout count this game. Oh, but he's, he goes out with a smile on his face. Oh, no. He looks like Ray Tran. Triggered. Even though he has different hair color. And slightly different skin color. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Don't try throwing baseballs at home, kids. How are they going to train for when they enter the Little League? All right, that was a nice solid hit, Gary. But Pete was there. They, they, got, a couple, they got a couple of melon heads today. More than one. 
Marky, stop insulting their swing before they've even swung. <laughs> Okay, Xenon is the guy who's, like, stacked in every category, so we gotta watch. Oh, okay. One of you will catch it, right? Yeah, good job, Angelo! Shut him out! Okay, well, thus far, we're playing pretty much perfectly. And they're playing terribly. <laughs> oh, boy, I can't wait for Pete Wheeler. Alright, well, now that we know how bad their catcher is, we are bunting. <laughs> I'm gonna hit a touchdown. You sure are, Pete. Just, you know, don't soft lock the game when you bunt like you have in the past, Pete. Okay, really, Pete? How hard is it to bunt and make it bounce forwards instead of bouncing backwards? It shouldn't be that hard. Okay, Pete, we really gotta work on your, uh, aiming skills. There we go! Oh, what?! Come on! Good lord. There we go. You can't tell me that's... Their team is literally running away from the ball. Actually, no. I don't trust that. No, oh, she's got a sissy throw. I could have made it. Ugh. What? This is... This is actually the dumbest team I've ever seen in my whole life. What? What? Oh my gosh, if this was my team, do you have any idea how freaking mad I would be? <laughs> what on earth? They are the dumbest! Oh my gosh. Can't throw, can't catch, are actively running away from the ball? They are... wow, I just... I can't even. I can't. <laughs> wow. Just w just give Reese the walk. He's going to first base one way or another. Well, the Phoenix, they don't even have bad players. Like, their players are pretty good stat-wise. They just, like, their AI is unbelievably dumb. Ready now, and delivered. There we go. Also, the only person on their team that has a good arm is Ronnie. And Ronnie's in left field, and if we keep bunting it, he's never going to get the ball. This, yeah. This is amazing. Let's see if Reese can steal. Yeah, if Reese can steal all on his own. <laughs> well, guess what? It worked for me, Vinny, so I don't really care about your opi opinion. <laughs> Reese is one of the canes of steals. I think Pete has more steals than like everyone else on the leaderboard combined. Too low. Uh, um, no. That kid was frozen. And the count is one and two. Alright, I guess we hit grounder with Kenny. Into the windup, the one-two pitch. The swing. Right to the catcher. Duh. Wow. Well, duh. Wow. Okay, this is just a repeat of the first inning. <laughs> this is literally just a repeat of the first inning. <laughs> it's like Binky going to the world of tomorrow twice. Oh, I wish Tony were here to see this. <laughs> Tony's preparing for the finals. Okay, well, 
That little blooper spin Wow, runner. they're running away from the ball. I don't know and what they're doing. Well, I, I mean, Angela helped us score, so let's take it. All right, Annie. I would love it if you could hit it to uh, right field. I think Annie needs to start lifting weights to uh, increase her hitting uh, her power. Get the power. Get it. Crush it. They're not catching that. They are not fast enough, nor are they smart enough. <laughs> Four RBIs for Angela. Yeah. Yep, she's definitely doing very well. All right, Annie. Let's get the line drive into right field. Infield fly. Apparently that... Okay, so she's got a good arm. Apparently that wasn't uh, an infield fly or just a pop-up. All right, interesting. Uh, we're going power of Marky. I know Marky can hit power well, and he tends to do much better with it than line drive. Yeah, Marky, come on, hit the ball. We get the biggest bat we do possible. Okay, don't swing at that one. Way too far outside. <laughs> All right, you've yeed your last haw. They want to keep. They want to walk, Marky. You can, but then you got Kimmy Ackman up. That, or actually, no, I think we have Charlie Brown up after that. Even worse. Charlie Brown has actually uh, gotten a home run. Same cannot be said for Kimmy. All right, Marky. Eyes on the ball. Grip the bat. Yeehaw! See, they're not even running for it. Oh, they were running for it. I thought it was going to go farther than that. Okay, so maybe it wasn't just a repeat of the first inning. <laughs> Nothing's happened, Vinny, but Sophie is capped at batting. So we should watch out for that. We don't want them scoring one point. No siree Bob. No siree Jeb. Which is why we're pitching the Heat. Okay, maybe we're not pitching the Heat. Maybe we'll pitch the slow ball. Marky's seen some crazy old ladies, apparently, because Sophie is very, very powerful. Very powerful. People have tried explaining the rules to infield flies for to me like eight times. I don't understand it. Partly because um, this game do, does not have them programmed properly. That is not how her last name would be pronounced by any any rule of phonics. Apparently NG is pronounced AIM. Like my my sister's boyfriend is big into sports. He literally tr sat me down and tried to walk me through the rules for an infield fly. I I I don't follow it. Like I understand why the rules in place, but it's just not implemented properly. Get the strikeout? Well, we can't get the strikeout here. Dane, Kenny, nothing gets past the kid in the wheelchair. Okay, Ronnie. Ronnie, you do not want to underestimate. Oh, wow, he's got a really tiny strike zone. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, Ronnie's got a really tiny strike zone. That was not down the middle, Sonny. Come on. Strike him out and make him cry. Do it. Yeah, Ronnie might be a little kid, but he's got a surprising amount of power behind him. Right to Kenny again. Kenny? Kenny did that on purpose because he knew Ronnie was going to be stupid enough to try it. Good job, Kenny, pretending to get hurt so that <laughs> Ronnie would get overconfident. Darn it, I wanted to make Ronnie cry, though. <laughs> Remember when I said this was going to be a tough game? I don't think this is going to be a tough game. Doop, 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 doop. 
Hey, Metal Lord. Uh, so Pablo's really bad today, but it doesn't matter because they are the dumbest team I've ever seen in my life. They have. This is literally the worst defensive team I've ever seen in my entire life. They are so bad. That was not! It was down at the bottom of the plane! Strike! <laughs> yeah, their players are running away from the ball. They None of them have good arms. It's ridiculous. Get this, Charlie Brown. Yes! Over their heads, please. Yeah, like, see, look at that. Yeah, look at that. No shot. No shot. What kind of an arm do you have? Not a very good one, but not... Yeah, look at that! She literally just ran away from the ball! <laughs> she literally ran away from the ball! This is like if there were nine me's on this team. Nope. Are you serious? Shut up, Vinny! That was not a strike. Target goes up a pitch. The wing. A bouncing ball. Got to watch your kneecaps on the game. Did that guy just do a flip to catch it or did my eyes just play tricks on me? I am guessing the second one. Pablo Sanchez steps All right, Pablo. We're going to line drive it and see if we can get it past the infielders. That's all we can hope for. It's always a sad day when you have to put Pablo at the end of your batting lineup. Foul. They just snapped back into place. That was hilarious. Well, even if Pablo doesn't get a hit, Pete Wheeler's up next. And Pete Wheeler is one of two characters on my team that can hit the ball hard. <laughs> Watch your kneecaps. I don't know. I don't know. Vinny just talks a lot of a lot of <laughs> a lot of hooey. All right, Pablo, you advanced. Gosh, these big fires are so dumb! I'm gonna have to play, like, either the circus music or just the well dug constantly in the background when I edit this. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what am I supposed to do again? We're going power with Pete. See if we get a grand slam. That was not a power. Pete, that was highly disappointing. That's actually very bad. Because now we've got one at batting Reese up next. Maybe I should have line drived it, but honestly, that could have happened with a line drive as well. Well, I don't think we're bunting with uh, Reese in this situation. We're going to have to line drive it and hope his one at batting still retains some of the power he had. That was dumb. He's a one at batting. It's not happening. Unless it's an inside the park. We don't have the aluminum power bat. Interesting. This could be bad for us. Oh, please walk Reese and just give me a free point. Yes, please. Alright. We'll foul it. <laughs> Come on! I want you to walk Reese! It would be funny to just let Charlie Brown go home for no reason. 
<laughs> or we could do the Char what Charlie Brown in the comics did and try to steal home. Except that cost his team the game. Because of course it did. That was so dumb! Why did I swing that early? Nope, that was 100% on me, Reese. I'm sorry, buddy. Alright, Kenny. Well, it really doesn't matter which of these four bats we use. They all work exactly the same as Kenny. He just barely nicks it. We'll try line drive, because maybe we can knock it a little bit farther away from home plate, so Charlie Brown can get home. Or maybe we hold out for the walk. Yeah, yes. Walk Kenny and let Angela Del Vecchio get a home run. Please, let that happen. From the wind up, a 2-1 pitch. That's ball three. Walk him. Walk him. Fine. It's going up the right field line. Why? Why is literally half their team, like, right next to first base? Thanks for giving me a free point! <laughs> what the freak? Why would you do that? That was literally the dumbest thing they could have done. Because now Angela freaking Delvecchio is up next. See what I mean when I say their defense is just... I agree. D for disgusting. What are they doing with their lives? Doggone it. The computer always gives them those strikes. <laughs> yeah. Darn it. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Well, it is dirt yards. Well, duh. Oh, oh, come on, Pablo. You're faster than that. <laughs> I thought for sure that was a grand slam, but no. I'll take two points. That's great. Okay, Annie. Now we can hit it to left field. That's fine. Or they can just keep trying to walk us. <laughs> Savage, Annie! <laughs> oh! What a rip. They just walked away from it because they're stupid. Come on. <gasps> what the heck is wrong with them? <laughs> they are so... <laughs> How did they make it this far in the league? Come on, Marky! We're going heavy on the power today! <laughs> We're going heavy on the power today, Marky! Gotta give it us the 10 pound bat! Hee haw! Oh. Well, we almost did, but Marky can still juggle the 10 pound bat! <laughs> Come on, Marky! Yee haw! <laughs> Come on, Marky! <laughs> You have not gotten a good hit in like the last seven games. <laughs> well. All right, Marky. Eyes on the prize. They're going to call that a strike. It's fine. That's foul. We'll get another shot. <laughs> Yuck. Ronnie's just by himself over there, and he's slow. If we hit it to left field, no chance they get it home. Doggone it, Marky! I know they're slow, but they're not as slow as us. Doggone it, Marky! <laughs> eight points, though. That's pretty good. They haven't even gone for their batting lineup once. Okay, I, I get Pajama Sam and Spy Fox being bonus characters. How the heck would Putt-Putt, Freddy, and Loofer work? 
Freddy and Woofer are fish, and Putt Putt is a car. Maybe have Freddy Fish replace the mascot for the fishes. That could be interesting. <laughs> Yikes! Annie, if you catch this. Oh, darn. Well, now Annie's just tired. So Jones only, Jones only good quality is their good batting. Okay. Guys, let her get to first. Let her get to first. She's so slow. That's actually fine. She's on first base. She's super slow. I would be down for Fatty Bear as a bonus character. Fatty Bear's my favorite. Mamie Skiumsgby is like a... Ugh! No, I do not want to see a humanized Putt-Putt Freddy or Loofer. That sounds unbelievably cursed. Why did you bunt there? Why would you bunt there? Why would you bunt there? You are not fast! <laughs> Alright, well, this round just got even easier. It's Asher! I used to think Vinny was saying, It's been too long since Grandpa's had his eyes checked. <laughs> Which I think is a funnier line. Gulp, gulp. Drink some water. Oh my gosh, look how slow she is. Oh, that's right, because that's their pitcher. Duh. Alright, Charlie Brown, let's see what special bat we have. Undergrounder! Very nice. If they gave us an aluminum power bat, that would just be cheating. You know what I would do with that aluminum power bat? I would actually hit the home run with Kimmy. Because I haven't heard her theme song yet. They're so scared. They're throwing so many balls. This is their backup pitcher. Wow. Look how bad his arm is! This is laughable. I'm not trusting Kimmy with the undergrounder because she fouls so much. But I will use it on Pablo. See, Kimmy fouls it about 70% of the time. Roughly speaking. There we go. There's that crack. Alright, that's fine. Kimmy's an out. Okay. Who is that girl? That girl, right there, the worst fielder I have seen in the history of backyard baseball. Who is that? I will never pick her for my team. <laughs> I have to check. Who the heck is this? Mamie! <laughs> what the heck do you mean she's an aide at fielding? Are you If Guys, if there is any evidence that you need that the fielding stat means nothing, that right there. Worst fielder in the history of the baseball sport. And they say she's an 8 at fielding. Meanwhile, they say Kenny is a 4, and he is pretty much not messed up. Ridiculous. Booyah. Gotta have Yiff Peter know where that thing's gonna pop up. How good of an arm do you have? I forget. Oh, you actually have a good arm. I mean, she's stupid, so I could have still gone, but... You can't get Mamie on your team. It's impossible without hacking. 
Okay, we. I'm gonna hit a touchdown. Change of plans. We're continuing the undergrounder trend. Actually, no, we're not, because Pete Wheeler can also foul it a lot. We'll save the undergrounder for Reese Worthington. Because again, Pete is one of the characters who can foul it very frequently. No, that is not a reward, nor will it be one. What the? What? Okay, you know what? I can't even be mad at that. That was genuinely really good on Ronnie's part. Give a hand for Ronnie. Like, he is trying to carry this team. Like, I, I actually really respect that. You do, Reese, because we're going to underground her. Man, not on that one, though. Ready now, and the throw. The swing. Booyah. And Go home, Charlie there. Brown. My, oh, my. All I can see is Nice one, Reese. And he advances two bases on a ground rule double. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I wonder if we'll have a third one. Okay, no, that would be that would be too much. No, no, no. Okay. It's getting dangerous here. He goes for home. And the runner is safe. I I honestly almost could have gone home. I actually I might have been able to steal home. I wish it was easier to cancel stealing home. No, I don't want to steal home. No, I'm not going to, but it won't let me cancel it once you say, yes, steal home. If I actually steal home, yes, I will make that a highlight, 100%. Come on, Pablo. Well, duh. Why would you throw it to Ferd? Why would you do something so stupid? What is... Okay. Alright. Who pumps the... Who pumped the team full of Adderall before the game? What is, what is this? You guys in the outfield better move back. Not swinging at that. I know they're going to say it's a strike. Vinny? How about you stop criticizing my game when I am literally doing infinitely better than they are? This is what happened. They all ate Tide Pods before the game. That's the only explanation. What? He's been known to Excuse me? He is literally your only competent... Actually, that could be a decent idea. Okay, hang on. He's... Oh, never mind. Okay, he's a 7 at pitching. He's... I thought he was like a 3 at pitching. He's not. Okay, that actually... That actually might be a good move on their part. He literally... <laughs> this team is basically just the team with only Bugs Bunny, but it's Ronnie instead. Yeah, he pitches fast. He's a powerful little spud. Let's see if that the ball. That better not happen again. <laughs> you can't stop this kid. <laughs> This is... <laughs> I, I have no words. This might take up the whole stream.
Well, what the heck? They are the dumbest people alive! You can't make this stuff up! I feel like I'm losing intelligence watching them. This is... Okay, no, 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 that's actually a bad idea. <laughs> Ronnie is also just- Ronnie has given up. Ronnie could have intercepted that. He has literally just given up. Okay, no, go back, go back. <laughs> this is just- <laughs> That that was the greatest episode of Looney Tunes ever. The wind up and the throw. The swing, the right. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast, too fast, too fast, too fast, too fast. Quick thinking. Quick thinking? And there are runners that I just I I have no I have no words. Here's the motion, throws it. A swing. That's a foul. They're slow, they're dumb, they throw like sissies. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ready now, fire. First. Then I'm scrambling. That's Mimi! Oh wait, hang on. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Let's not let's not get greedy here. <laughs> and they scratched out another run. The gooch likes that. Yeah, give me some more of that. Okay, that'll bring up. Marky, you're zero for free. We're not hitting power with you. We're going line drive. Runners at the corner. The bug stops with Marky. All right, Marky, let's go. From the stretch, the pitch. You can do this. Yeehaw! There we go. Oh, beaut, Marky! That was such a good hit. Wait, there's no freaking way. Wait, shoot. Are they just gonna let me go back? I forgot. <laughs> Did you hear <laughs> the her speed? <laughs> you are joking. <laughs> Angela is. Gassed beyond belief. <laughs> I am speed. From the wind up, back to the plate. That was not a strike. I'm crying right now. This is. This is. What are they doing? Literally. What, what are they doing? This is. This is <laughs> okay. There you go. Ronnie is. <laughs> That was. <laughs> I'll be honest. I can barely even see right now <laughs> because. <laughs> Is there a no? No mercy. Zero. None. Swing the batter. It's a broken ladder. I don't know if I'm gonna like cut any of this footage out. It's all priceless. Here, I'm pitching you the heat. 
those who have come up <laughs> Don't cut the game out. Oh, I'm absolutely gonna ed edit some stuff in. I don't know what. I feel like I feel like I need something more than just well, duh. Oh, oh wait, no. There's some great music I can edit in for when they're goofing up. There's a bunch of, like, meme songs that sound so dumb. I'm gonna edit those in. <laughs> like Panama Hat. Get out of here, Gary. Oh! One of their one of their first solid hits. You're so slow, Marky's gonna beat you here. Wow! I... Kids looking to make a name for themselves. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of stuff I could edit in. Nope, you're out. No, <laughs> no mercy. Con I mean, considering how long the game's been going on and how much they've been messing up, I feel like it should have more than 13 points at this point. I can't believe my sister's not here as well. She's really missing out. Kimmy Ackman! Oh, you know who I think has the worst theme song by far? Ricky. Ricky's theme song is just farts. Not really. It's a bunch of, like, really deep tuba, but, like, it, it sounds so bad. A little music to back her off the plate. <laughs> there are they gonna go to a fourth pitcher? I'm not sure if I've ever heard the second half of Ricky's theme song. Will Kimmy be able to get a hit? I'm not even saying will she get on base. Will she be able to get a hit? That's true. If Pablo were normal, I would probably have more. Probably. Maybe. Possibly. Kimmy can't hit it straight! She just can't. That's way too high, surely. I'm honestly shocked that they didn't say that was a strike. But I'm glad that they did. Kimmy, please hit it straight. Please. Good lord, this is tiring. <laughs> there we go! That's what I'm talking about, Kimmy. Okay, you gotta run, though. You gotta run. You gotta run. Well, duh. Or you don't gotta run. What? They're not even trying. They are not trying anymore. Boo! Yeah. Boo! This is big Boo! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just. Um, mm. So. <laughs> that was dumb. Oh, wow. And I'm not even playing that well. Like, I want to point that out. I am definitely not playing my best right now. And I'm still effortlessly crushing them. I hope this team makes it to the World Series. I really hope this team makes it to the World Series. Yes, Ronnie. <laughs> you are literally the only person on their team who is capable of doing anything good. And that was just uncalled for, uh, Vinay. What am I supposed to do again? What the? Pete, that was an impossible hit! 
You were aiming to the left, and you used the line drive, and you just hit the ball to the moon in the opposite direction. That, yeah, Ronnie as their pitcher is the only smart thing they've done defensively. What are you doing with your life, Ronnie? I feel like we need to pick up Ronnie next season. Give him a good team to work with. Ronnie's one of the few characters I haven't gotten, so we could see him next season. Booyah! Yoink! Oh, pfft. that might be a home run for Pete. That's a home run for Pete. Nice one, Pete! <laughs> Reese is free for four! <laughs> Let's go! It's not like Ronnie takes up all nine slots. We can have Ronnie and Jorge. We can get them both. That's why I'm saying we might not have time for Carmen tonight. She's looking to show these batters a thing or two. Lena, not gonna lie. All right, Lena. Oh, if only we hadn't fouled that. I would really put a new person on the on the mound and immediately make them f get tired by throwing a special pitch to Reese Worthington. Nobody's on first base. What is... Nobody is on first base. What is this? Any chair gets in the way when it's bad. This is... Mm. Okay, pitcher, give me one right over the center. From the fetch and the delivery. Swung on. A bouncing ball. Dang, Reese got a good head start with that steal. Runner on first, one out. The stretch and the delivery. Ball one. Actually, Reese can probably steal second on his own. I do remember when I said that. Well, I thought it would be, because I don't have any good batters. And the only reason I'm doing this well is because they hardcore suck at fielding. Reese OP. <laughs> He's really not, but he has been doing great today. That's a ball, right? It's now. It's not. <laughs> Get struck out. Good decision. Let's see it, Angela. Let's see it. The strikeout theme is perfection. <laughs> There's a good chance we get another 20-point game. Well, maybe not a good chance, but there is a chance. There's a non-zero chance. Half their team has to be gassed at this point. Life could be dream. And I could tell you about the paradise of a bone. Shaboom, hello, hello. Sugar pop. 
Let's hit it over the barricade. We haven't gotten a home run today. I have to talk in a weird voice. <laughs> All right, it's the thing coach time. Angela, you're going to do great, sweetie. We're doing so amazing. Just smack it. Okay, just like that, but hit it forwards instead of backwards, okay? <laughs> this is what you gotta do. Assistant coach believes in you wholeheartedly. So does everyone in the audience. We've already won. Let's just rub it in their faces a little bit more. Yeah, this is a good strategy. Just keep fouling it to tire out their last remaining person who has juice. Oh, this is great, Angela. Oh, look at that. They walked you. They knew they, they, they knew that you were gonna hit it out of the park, so they just decided to let you get on first base. <laughs> They're fools, though, because An Annie Frazier's up next, and I love this girl. Annie is such a shining star in the world of Little League Baseball. Are you having cake? <laughs> she has the best attitude. I love her shirt. She's got that nice blonde hair and such a great upbeat attitude. And she's got those nice sandals. Let's hit a line drive into the outfield, Annie, and we can advance all the other players. This is going to be fantastic. Right, just like this. Oh, just like that. Over their heads, please. Darn it, Andy. It's okay, Andy. It's okay. You did your best, and we got 15 points to their zero. And now we can make Ronnie uh, cry in this inning. That's okay. All right, Angela. Now you got to pitch against Sophie Meyer. Oh, look at that. She made it bounce. Let her get on first. Look at that terrible speed. Just let her get on first. Don't sound so disappointed, Sonny. It's all part of my strategy. <laughs> it's all part of the strategy. <laughs> you just don't understand, Vinny. You don't know the sport of baseball. I agree. Actually, Lena's not that good at batting, right? I don't think she is. Uh, she's, she's competent, I suppose. I'm not going to let her get an amazing hit on the outside. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, that's perfect. Right to Marky. Marky gets you out. Oh yeah, you're not you're not outrunning Reese Worthington. That's a double play. <laughs> All right, Ronnie. Ronnie, this is probably your last chance for your team to get a home run right here to score a single point. Yes, poor poor Ronnie who has Sally bossing him around. I want to strike him out and see him just cry at how bad his team is. Nope, no strikeout. Yeah, look at that. Now now Ronnie's gassed. He can't even run anymore. <laughs> that was weird. But he's still out because they made him pitcher for half the game. <laughs> All right. They've literally gotten one, two free innings every single inning. So... All right, what's the special bat going to be? All right, undergrounder. Marky, okay, I just would like you to get on first. Please and thank you, God bless. I don't really want to use the undergrounder if it's just Marky and nobody else. Marky cannot hit left hooks. Period. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, everyone's super slow, so even Marky is going to actually get on first. Where are you going? <laughs> She's like, well, okay, I know the ball is right here on my right, but I don't actually want to grab it. I'm just going to run past it so I can shove the catcher to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm so mad at him for doing badly. <laughs> that was still a strike. <laughs> so here we go. There's a ground rule double for Chuck Brown. <laughs> they just want to go home. No, they can never return home. Never. We will humiliate them to the depths of darkness. Look at that determination. Watch out. 
Oh, we have another one. I'm not using that on Kimmy, though, because, again, she can foul it too much. Save that for Pablo. Too high. <laughs> Nobody is allowed to go home. <laughs> Nobody. You guys chose the dirt yards. We're playing on the dirt yards. We are scheduled for six innings. Doggone it. We're going to play six innings. <laughs> what if in the final inning they just get 16 points? Like, what if it, when they get up at bat, all of a sudden, just they get home run after home run after home run? From the and the throw, the oh my and gosh! The and oh, darn it. And the tag. And the well, that was very close! We almost got double played there! What is going on? <laughs> All right, Kimmy, that could have been real bad. We all know he's a rad dude. And there are runners at second and third. One out. Yikes. We're going to get two runs here. The stretch. Here's the pitch. Walk on. Booyah. Here comes Marky. Yoink a dirk a dee boink. We're going home with Marky. We're going home with Marky. Going home with Marky. Cause we hit an undergrounder. Yeah. Charlie Brown going home. Pablo going home. <laughs> this guy can't throw worth a thing. Even if Ron gets it, he won't throw it in time. Okay. Maybe we won't go home. Nice triple for Pablo, though. Pete has a home run. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> if we have another undergrounder, we will use it here. Game. Why would you do this? Actually, no. You know what? We're not using it with Pete. Because Pete can hit a line drive. Why would you give the team that's 17 points up free undergrounders? Why? From the line up and the throw. They've given up! They're not even tr <laughs> Intentionally walking Pete is not a good move. It really is not. I'm not even going to swing at that. I know it's a strike. I know it's a strike. I don't care. This is ridiculous. But you all know that already anyways. Pete Wheeler, Pete Wheeler, oh I love Pete Wheeler. I know he will get on base cause they walked him. Pete Wheeler, Pete Wheeler, oh we love Pete Wheeler. We give everything that we have for Pete Wheeler. <laughs> I should have stayed in bed. <laughs> that was a strike? Objection. I probably could have gone home. We almost certainly could have gone home. Pete could have gone home. <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> what is wrong with these kids? Is that a triple for Reese? That guy doesn't have an arm, I don't think. No, he don't. Part of me wants to go home with Reese, but I will refrain. We just need one more point, and we have a second 20-point game. No, you know what? We're bunting. They're running away from the ball. 
What are they doing? The pitcher didn't even try! She was right next to the ball for five whole seconds and she didn't make a move! They are- We paid the team off! We paid the team off! What is this? What is this? This is- Nope. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. This is their fifth pitcher. This is their fifth pitcher. Half of their team has been the pitcher. <laughs> Yoink! She went after the high cheese on that one. Wait, Kenny can steal. What am I doing? <laughs> We're not swinging at that. There he goes. Kenny can practically steal home from first base. This <laughs> is the dumbest and greatest thing ever. Oh, big mistake. Oh, big mistake! He's not catching that, right? Yeah, of course not. Kenny's going home. Actually, that's... If Ronnie had actually caught that, I would have said Kenny's not going home. What did... On a scale of 1 to 100, I'm pretty sure the AI is negative 100 in terms of intelligence today. Whoa! Annie, calm down. And she's out. Oh darn! That was actually that was a sweet spot hit, though. And the runner tag. Okay. I think that's the inning over, though. Marky, we're gonna try for power again. Because without power, I don't think you're getting on first, and I don't think Angela's advancing. Yeehaw! Markets two outs, top of the sixth. We're 21 points up. No pressure, but uh, well, this will be the end of the inning if you don't pull off a miracle. Unless they want to walk you. Yeah. Or if they want to pitch, uh, like, I don't know, a corkscrew and let me hit it. That would be funny. What's going on here? Every time they put up a new pitcher, it's just like, let's pitch 40 balls. Oh, now I'm tired. I wonder how that happened. It couldn't have been because you pitched 40 balls in a row. This is ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. I'm not swinging. You walk the boy? Do you even know who's up next? Do you even know who's up next? It's Charles Bronte. And he will get a good hit. He's four for five today and he's hit two doubles. Granted, I think two of those those doubles were from the undergrounder, but still. Oh. Charlie. What? No, sh no shot that we all have. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Guys, we have to hit power with Kimmy. We gotta hit power with Kimmy. We gotta try for the Grand Slam. We got to. God has ordained it. Unless they want to walk her, give us another free point. Yeah, this big brain time. That cannot be said for the melon heads. Really, Kimmy? That's what you give us. Are you kidding me? Do they all have negative 20 and running right now? What is this? Kiss <laughs> This is, um, unbelievable. You want to walk Pablo? 
That was not a strike. Has anyone in the backyard baseball discord, have you ever witnessed the AI be this stupid? Like, in your life. Okay, that, surely that's out, right? I mean, surely Marky Dubois is not going to make it home, right? Okay. You have? Okay. Well, look at Angela's stamina has definitely gone downhill. Well, I mean, everyone's stamina has gone downhill. We screwed that up so bad, and she didn't even get halfway to first base. That's how slow she is. Okay, but did you get 36 runs because the, the opponents played really terribly? Or because your team played really well? Because my team has been playing decently, but, like, we've been getting these runs purely because they are super bad. And no other reason. We're one round away. You managed to steal home from first. Okay, yeah, there's no excuse for that. Oh, it's their original pitcher. I wonder if she has her juice back yet. Mark goes, boy! Just gonna humpity dumpity dump. <laughs> did they ever. Oh, I was about to think, did they ever get on base? They can all go home proud of their performances today. Live from Dirt Yard, this has been Sunny Day and Vinny the Gooch. See you next time! <laughs> This is simultaneously the best and worst game of backyard baseball I think I've ever played. What the heck? I've never seen AI ever act so dumbly before. What the heck? That was. Can you imagine how many points I would have gotten if Pablo Sanchez did not have those de dis decreases? <laughs> that was an hour and a half game. What on earth? <laughs> That's. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm even gonna cut any of that out. I think people deserve oh. to see all of that. <laughs> also, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was the Melonheads, were they the team that played against the Fishes and, like, one team got, like, 18 points and the other team got, like, 13 points? I think it was. It was two backyard teams. So I think it was both of those. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing. That was amazing. Dane, who was the MVP on our team, everybody? I want to see people's votes. Who was the MVP? I personally would say it's Angela. <laughs> Everybody. I think it was Angela. She pitched the whole game, and she got some of those spectacular, like, hits. Angela was really good. I will also throw out both, uh, or Kenny and... Reese and Charlie Brown also played really, really well. The MVP on my team was the other team. <laughs> the other team's catcher, yes, actually agreed. I wonder how that game affected the league leaders. <laughs> Good night, DX. Thanks for joining in. <laughs> okay, so we didn't get any actual home runs this game, so that's still the same. That makes sense. Pete and Pablo have most hits. Reese and Angela are both on the list as well. Doubles hasn't really changed. Triples hasn't really changed. Runs batted in Pablo, Ray, and Angela. All right. Runs scored Pete and Sidney Weber. Okay. Batting average, Pete, Kenny, and Pablo are all in the top four. And Joella from the Rangers is doing well, too. Uh, Pablo is up there for slugging percentage now, even though he didn't slug the ball. Uh, Pete with 17 steals. Everybody else with six or fewer. That's about right. 59 strikeouts for Angela. Makes sense. Angela, one of the highest run earned run averages. Julie Dunkel with 0. 0.65.
Wow. Pete Wheeler still... I'm just, no! All ten of these slots should be filled up with the nine players from their team. Are there any... None of the melon heads are on the most errors. That is so not true. All of them combined got the most errors. Like, it's not even close. Angela needs ten more strikeouts? For what? Oh. For the immature number. I see. Well, uh, <clears throat> we're 12-0. Rangers are 10-2. Uh, Expos 10-2. Reds 10-2. So I do believe we now have our four playoffs teams. Diamondbacks 9-3. Rockies 8-4. White Sox 8-4. Orioles 6-6. Actually, wait. Oh, wait. There are eight teams in the playoffs, not four. I was thinking the tournament. Okay, well, at the very least, we've got four of the teams guaranteed for playoffs at this point. And then, next week, on Monday, we will be facing off against the Marlins at our final away game. That will be interesting. We have not had uh, Tin Can Alley. We have not had Cement Gardens. We have not had Parks Department Field number four. So, it could be any one of those, or it could be a different one altogether. So that'll be interesting. Wow. Uh, yeah. What a game. What a game. That is gonna. It's gonna take a long time to edit this one. Man, it's gonna take a long time to edit this one. I. I don't even know all the stuff I'm gonna have to put in, but I think we can all agree this is one of the dumbest games of backyard baseball I think we've ever seen. And yeah, it's gonna be like an hour and a half video. And man, you gotta watch it. <laughs> You know what? It's one of those times where, like, what else can I say about it that hasn't already been said? It was surely one of the games of all time. Man, I, I, I wish. Actually, wait, hang on, hang on. I wish, I wish with all my heart that the Melon Heads could actually end up in the playoffs. Um, no, I don't think the Melon Heads can be in the playoffs. Rats. I was hoping that if we faced them in the World Series, that would be hysterical. No, they're not they're not gonna be in the playoffs. Rats. Well, I mean <laughs> Ultimate Backyard Baseball Challenge. Hack the game, get that team, and try to win the series with that team. With errors turned on. <laughs> I I would love to see that. So <laughs> how could they have six wins? <laughs> To be fair, half of their team was insanely stacked when it came to offense. It's just, whenever they were up at bat, they had no juice left, so nothing ever came of it. 